Hi dears, welcome back to the channel Benidom by Anna. It's me Anna with you here. Today we are once again in Benidom area and I will be showing you the hotels that are closing in winter. It's something very useful I think for a lot of you guys because you need to know if you're planning to come in winter which hotels are available and which ones are not up until the next spring or maybe even more than that. Today we start here in Rincon de Loich area. We'll be going up until our lovely and warm beach of Benidorm, which is Levante Beach. And we start with this hotel, which is Hotel de Loich here in Rincon area. Let's go. So this is how the Hotel de Loich is looking like today. On their website and on the phone, they've said basically that they are already closed for public. They are just finishing and ultimating some details. There are people like staff working in here. But apart from that, there is no one, so no public at all, no nothing. This hotel is closed already and will be opening up on the 18th of March. Once again, for all the tourists who would like to come to this nice hotel, they call it also Aqua Center. They have amazing spa area inside and it's a four stars superior hotel looks very nice i just love the design by the way the famous clinic of albir which is Shaw wellness clinic has copied slightly the design they've did i think it's even might be the same architect that did it because this design is exactly the same that Shaw wellness clinic is using for their buildings and now let's head to the other hotels before it starts to rain again because today as you can see the weather is very strange it's cloudy they say it's going to be raining from thursday onwards but we'll see there are a few drops here every now and then the true autumn winter weather has come already the next hotels are located slightly fourth right there near the benidorm palace by the way the benidorm palace show dinner show how you want to call it that one is open they have a very nice program right now uh, of course there are a lot of limitations in this case because uh, because people are eating there basically they need to take the mask off so uh, and drinking like so it's necessary to keep the safety distance but apart from that everything is working finally they've always had a tough time during this like year and a half when everything got cancelled the night or like show business was closed the concerts were closed so it was tough for all of them for the dancers many of them left they went to other countries to circus and like other shows international ones but the others they've decided to wait until better times will come and now finally they are able to offer the new show for all of us even people who live here once a year visit this show just in case just to see something new something special here in the area especially in winter time during summer it's not as common for people who live here but on winter when there's not much more to do people go to Benidorm palace especially like for celebrations like new year and things like this by the way, this right there in front is already the Benidorm Palace. Very nice, especially in the evening, the lights are just amazing. And in front of Benidorm Palace, you have another very nice four stars hotel. I've not been to this one. Probably we will be filming if they will say they agree with it, then we might be filming it next year once they open up in March more or less this is the Hotel Mediterraneo it's called like Mediterranean Hotel four stars located very nicely uh, the only thing is that here you might get some noise like if people when people will be arriving to Benidorm Palace like taxis and stuff but apart from that um, it's quite okay this is how the hotel looks like today. There are still some people here in the hotel. They say that they'll be closing on the 9th of January. 
and it's something that um, they've conferred me directly I've asked them so 9th of January they will be closing and they will be opening up back also on 18th of March this is like the start date for a lot of the hotels here in the area that will be closing down for winter usually they close down a lot earlier than 9th of January but the thing is that this year since they've had difficult times they've opened up later than usual uh, what happens is that um, they've decided to make the Christmas here New Year celebration three kings as well this is why they uh, decided to close slightly later on because they want to be able to work for a slightly longer time if not it just does not make any sense to to have opened up um, by the way this is the show that is on right now in Benidorm Palace before they've had the show that was called Aqua we went to that one but that was like two years ago when all this thing hit us and right now they have Terra before it was water and now it's earth so this is a new one very interesting one as well so that you know if you're coming this one is the show that you will be able to see here in Benidorm Palace the ticket selling place is also open up right here they put some lights there so everything is working properly there's some sunshine finally coming out um, so it's very very nice because the views will be a lot better with some natural sunlight so yeah this is the hotel a uh, very nice four star suitable for families also if you've been to this one leave your comments here down below for a lot of people maybe it will be useful just to know what to expect and if it might be suitable for them or not but they have a very nice garden area they have a swimming pool and it's close to everything you can literally go walking from here towards the sunday market to benidorm palace if you go here up the hill eventually you will end up at the mundomar and aqualandia as well and if you go straight down this road up until the end there's a supermarket pharmacies and you will get to the Levante beach in just a few like maximum 10 minutes walking so it's very very close to everything that you might need in here so remember the Mediterranean hotel that one there closes on the 9th of January and opens up back again on the 18th of March let's head to the next ones that we can already see actually from here these are the taller hotels of this area of Rincon de Loic we will be seeing right in front of us the Levante Club we'll be checking the Flamingo Oasis because I know it's a very popular hotel amongst a lot of you and you've been visiting this hotel for a lot of time so for some of you it's just the hotel that you visit always each time you come to Benidorm and then we'll be checking Melia Hotel as well. We'll be talking about Dynastic and some more of them. By the way, in this area right now, there's not a lot of people. When I'm filming, this is midday. Uh, it's approximately 12 right now 12 a.m midday as it is and there are not many people here it's Wednesday of course on weekend it's going to be slightly more and this area is not as popular these days a lot of a lot of people are concentrated more towards the Mediterranean uh, Avenue uh, like Levante beach, beach itself on the first line or uh, like the old town but the more we get towards the city center, the more occupied the streets look like. By the way, this is the supermarket, the Masi Mas. This is lower cost supermarket, so the prices are not as high. But the food is still very, very nice. So that you know if you'd be staying in this area, this is where you can go to buy something that you need. Like basic things, even cosmetics and hygiene products and stuff like that. The showboat. That one is also opening up. They have, by the way, karaoke nights back as well as a lot of other karaoke bars here in the area. So it's finally back. Yay. A lot of you have been waiting for it. So it's finally here. 
there's a pharmacy here down the corner and it's right near the Hotel Levante Club which is just giant this is just giant I love this bowl with the water it's like sprinkling water very very nice they've been changing it and making it once like every few months because it stops working but right now it's all right it's working back again this hotel seems slightly empty although I know that it is open but it looks slightly empty might might not be as many people here it's by the way four stars hotel as well and it's um for the adults so children they're not allowed in this hotel very very nice terrace inside everything is working uh, the only limitations right now basically are the mask and the social distancing and hand disinfection that's it it's very nice on the inside it has like the clouds in there hanging very very nice place very tall a lot of rooms in here has a very nice swimming pool area by the way they are doing this one here so if I would have like a huge tripod I would be able to show it to you but since um, it's like this so we cannot really see it let me see if I can find an angle and if not then I'll just um, show you the pictures here on the screen of how the swimming pool area looks like but just so that you know, this hotel is open and it's not going to be closing, at least for now. Uh, what they say is it's not going to be closing during all winter. So it's good if you would like to come and visit this hotel. Okay, I don't think we'll be able to see it. Or maybe, no, we will not be able to see it. But at least from here, you can see how giant it is it's huge even bigger hotel is this one the flamingo oasis we've been filming this hotel from top to bottom with med Playa. they were very kind and they let me to show you this hotel entirely so that you could see what it has to offer I'm going to put you the link here somewhere on the screen popping up just in case if you're interested to see that video once again just to know what to expect and what this amazing and big hotel has to offer because it's way more than you can see from this street from the first sight by the way this hotel by the way this hotel will continue to be open up until 11th of january what they are planning to do is to make a lot of nice parties here spe special events like christmas new year three kings for celebrations for all the families and they then after all the fiestas are over on 11th of january they will close down officially but it's not going to be for a long time because as they've mentioned on 15th of february so slightly more than one month they will be closed one month and four days and then they will be opening back for public and working the entire year long starting from february so that you know if you're coming between these dates 11th of january and 15th of february sadly this hotel will not be available but you can choose a lot more other hotels of mid playa or any other different hotel that you would like to that will be open during these dates but if you're flexible you can change the dates according to the hotel being open and your needs the next one we will be checking on today and i'll be letting you know if it's open or not is the melia benny dome by the way melia does not admit uh filming inside the videos like it has to be um something from newspapers or things like this they're very very strict with filming uh, so for now they do not allow anyone to do so because the president of the Melia chain uh, does not want any kind of filming in here but maybe in the future we will do so I'm not telling you no maybe maybe things will be happening Melia is a huge building and this hotel has a lot to offer actually they have an amazing spa inside 
This one is one of the hotels that are opening throughout all the entire year uh, and are not closing. So if you're coming here, you can choose the Melia Benidorm Hotel for your stay. Actually, uh, here in Benidorm, around 85% of all the hotels will be opening. So they're not going to be closing for winter, which is very, very nice to know because hotels definitely need any kind of help, any kind of visits that they might get. So Melia is just one of them. They have an amazing spa, which is this one right here. You can check the pictures online if you want to. Very um, nice gardens that they take care of each day. This is the main entrance, by the way. Right now it's very quiet, definitely, but it's because it's already um, almost winter time. This is why <laughs> it's just too quiet. But inside, I'm sure the atmosphere is way more interesting than here on the outside. They have all the terraces available, the outside pool area, the inside, the spa as well, with some necessary restrictions, of course, once again, more, I would even say more safety measures. But it's still available. very nice place to be by the way i love their garden i know we cannot get inside officially but i do know a place where we can go to slightly see the pool area of the melia benidorm hotel uh, if we go around the corner we will be able to see how it looks like but i have other place where we have some better views and voila, I know it's not the best view either, but at least you can see the quantity of gardens and like the space that they have to lay down. There are some hammocks there that you can use. It's a very quiet and reserved area. And there at the back, like at the front, you have these swimming pools and some more garden areas. So it's very, very nice. I love this place and it's just it's very nice it's very cared you can actually see that they are doing a lot of work to make it look nice and we cool. are back on track and we're heading to see a few more hotels and just wanted to show you the food and party and sports place that they've just opened up well it was a few months ago but we did not see it completely finished up until like now they have like a lot of cocktail deals, mixers, offers, uh, traditional breakfast, pizzas, like a lot of different things in here. As you can see, these are the prices and the terrace is just giant. It's just giant, as you can see. Nice place. A lot of British people are liking this area and they are coming here to have some nice time and have a favorite drink. The other one is the hotel that I'll be showing you. It's not exactly on the main avenue, okay, but it's slightly towards up, upwards. But since it's here, we can see it from here. So I'll just be showing it to you. This is the Regente Hotel, once again from Med Playa. We also have a video about it. Uh, if you go to my playlist of the hotels uh, on the channel, you can see all the hotels that I had from Med Playa, all the hotels from Servic Group and different other ones. So you can check all the videos in there because we've been filming on the inside in this hotel too. This one will be opening. It's not going to be closing down. It's one of the hotels that are staying open for all entire winter. Does not matter if it's winter season, if it's autumn, if there's many people, if not, it will keep open and welcome all the visitors which means that they will have some special deals for christmas new year and different festive holidays here in the area and the pre-last one that we will be checking is the dynastic hotel a lot of you guys were asking me what will be going on with the dynastic and with gala placidia because it's their hotel as well if they will be opening or not eventually what I can say for now for sure is that Dynastic will maintain itself open. It's not going to be closing. It usually is open throughout the whole year long. And this year is not going to be any exception. 
What they don't know yet is what gonna, what's going to be happening with Gala Placidia because uh, they were planning to open it for February now. This is the day now, like for today's day. Uh, but it will all depend on what the restrictions will be because in Gala Placidia, you know that the majority of people, they're coming from UK, so they're waiting to see if the new restrictions will be put in place. If it is going to be the case, then they just might keep only the dynastic open. By the way, it's right here. And if not, if we will be lucky and there'll be no restrictions for people from UK, uh, then they might open the gala as well. They still have some Halloween things in here, but they're packing them up already. And yeah, this one is also one of those who will be opening no matter what. They even have a sign on the entrance before. And on the sign it was saying, we will keep ourselves open no matter what. So like, we don't care what's happening with pandemics. We will survive, we will be open. And they did it actually, they did not close. During all this time, all this difficult time, they maintain themselves open and they're working, they're back on track and they are quite busy during these I know some people might be interested in Dynastic. I was not filming this hotel just because, well, my husband works here and it's kind of, I did not really want to like get inside his job, you know, although it would be the easiest filming in my life, but still. Uh, let me know if you are interested to see on how it looks like on the inside. If you are, then I might, uh, then I might film it for you guys. Just let me know. I'll need to ask for my husband and we will organize everything. If more than a few people will let me know that they want to see it, then I'll make a video for you guys for sure. And the, and the Gala Placidia is there. It's very nice. I love the colors that they've been using. It's very cute colors, very relaxing modern style way more modern than it used to be the rooms are just amazing but since it's not open just yet if it will be open and when it will be open better to say when because it will definitely be opening up some point in the future so when it will happen i will be able to make you the video for you guys as well i will definitely let you know when they will decide on the exact date and now we're heading to the last one, which is one of the hotel of the Servi Group chain that is right here, almost, almost near the Mediterranean Avenue and only, I would even say 200 meters maximum from the beach area. They've opened it up recently. Uh, it was maybe like beginning of, October they've opened it up and it's continuing to work so let's hope they will be able to maintain this hotel open as well later on when we'll be going to check some more server group hotels in the next videos I will let you know which ones will be opening and which ones will be closing down and for now let's check this one right here we see the purple violet sign which means that the hotel is already here and of course this is the Nereo Four Stars Hotel right here in the heart of Benidorm very very popular area with for a lot of people so this is the hotel and this is how it looks like right now and luckily for a lot of you guys this hotel will be open during all the entire winter they've been closing for such a long time uh, and the majority of serving group hotels were open but this one was closed it's one of the last ones to open but it's going to be open the whole entire winter january february does not matter when you want to go it will be open for your visit guys so this was it for today's i hope you enjoyed watching today's video and you got to know which hotels are available for your holidays and which ones are not in some specific dates thank you all for watching i wish you an amazing day of today and i'll see you very soon with a new interesting video from benidorm bye everyone